Hello everyone, it's me Shogo from Let's Ask Shogo. In this video, I'd like to explain to you how the samurai traditionally equip their katana on their kimono and how you can do it too. I've been training in Yaido for seven years and I actually trained in three different yuhas. I'd like to share with you all the experiences and knowledge that I have with you. So first of all, when you equip the katana into your kimono, the end of the scabbard right here comes in from the center of your body right here, so in front of your belly button. So you insert it from here, right here. And if you have a kimono on like I do, there's actually these strings of these hakamas. So one of the strings would go under the scabbard and you insert it from here, the center of the body. Now for the string, if your katana has the sagio string, by the way, there are various ways of tying this to your hakama or kimono. One of the yuha styles that I train in would tie it here onto your hakama here. There are some other schools or styles that could tie it on this side here, or there are actually some styles that wouldn't tie it at all, just keep it dangling. Now, there are some historical pictures and evidence that say that samurai actually did not tie the sagio at all, because back in the time, the samurai would actually have to often take out their katana and hand it to the owner of the building whenever they stepped indoors. So this is actually up to you. But I think the most major way is actually to tie it to your katana like this, yeah. The tying method is up to you. You could just tie it any way you like. Like this. And then the tsuba, this is the handguard of your katana, should come at the center of your body right here. And this is the right position. And your thumb must always be holding onto your handguard to prevent the katana from falling out. If you don't do this, if you just have your hand here, if you lean forward, your sword will drop and will be very, very dangerous. There's a high chance of cutting your hands. So your thumb must always be holding on to the handguard, which is at the center of your body. However, your thumb should never hold right in the middle of the top of the handguard at Tsuba, because if you do this and you try to draw the katana, there's a chance you might cut your fingers. So it's not right in the middle on the top of the Tsuba, but a little bit to the side like this to hold it properly. And again, the handguard, the center of your body. This is the basic stance you have when you have the katana in your kimono or in your belt. And I believe there are two main questions that you probably have in your mind right now. Number one is, yes, the sharp side should be upwards. This is correct. Now, there are some type of katanas that have the sharp side downwards, but those are called the tachi. Those are the more older types of Japanese katana. And those are the ones that were used on horseback. These kinds that are the most standard kinds of katana today are called the uchi katana. Uchi katana are the ones that are not worn together with armor like the tachi, but these are the one that was worn with kimono, regular clothing for the samurai. So this is correct to have the sharp side upwards like this. And second, Yes, the katana must always be on your left waist traditionally. This is because for the samurai, if you randomly had your katana on your left or right waist, when you walk past each other, there's a chance that you might bump your scabbard against each other. When you actually do that, there is a very big noise that would happen, and that could actually start a fight among the samurai. So the government, the shogunate the samurai government back at that time made a rule the samurai must always have the katana on their left waist and walk on the left side of the road, which is still carried on to Japan today. So the katana traditionally must always be on your left waist like this. Now the story though will be completely different if you have these shorter katana called the wakizashi. The samurai during the Edo period always had these two katana with them. The shorter katana would come in from the center of your body, like we practiced earlier, goes through under one of the strings of the kama, and the hand guards come to the center of your body. The shorter katana always comes into your kimono or belt first because the short katana, unlike the longer uchi katana, would always be with you wherever you go, even indoors. And once you have these wakizashi though, you won't be able to put your longer katana from the center of your body right. So when you have two katana, this long katana comes in from the left waist. So from this side this time, right here. And again, the sagio goes <laughs> over the scabbard like this. And this time again, the handguard of the shorter katana will come at the center of your body. This time, the longer katana, the end of the handle called the tsukagashira. Tsuka is the handle, kashira means the head in Japanese. The tsukagashira will come at the center of your body. This is the correct way to equip two swords at once. 
Everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. And if you're looking for an amazing katana of your own, it'd be great if you could check out Mini Katana.